This guy's trouble. I've sailed through 50 security clearances. I know these guys. And this one... This one is just dying to find a... a coven of little NASA fairies to bust. Why does he care so much? The feds see it as a security risk. If you have a secret, the Russians can use it to blackmail you. He'll be talking to you eventually, and he's going to be looking for ways to trip you up. Don't believe anything he tells you. You can't believe this. I mean, isn't, isn't lying to the FBI a crime? Am I going to be committing a felony here? Yes, you are. It's that, or you can tell him the truth and get us both shit-canned on a NASA and held up as degenerate perverts before the whole world. Okay. I, uh, better get our story straight. Where was our first date? been thinking mm -hmm. mm. maybe uh, we should take a break for a while take a break <sighs> this FBI thing has you all wound up doesn't it yeah something else no, I mean, it's, it's the FBI and, uh... Oh, I don't know. Say it. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. This? Oh. Oh, did you mean, um, this? Well, I don't know. Where would you like it to go? I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure that it can go anywhere. And you know, it... It could be just... Just a... Just a phase. Kissing girls is just a phase for you? Maybe. Was that eight or nine years ago? I thought it was just a phase, something I'd do for a while, and then it'd, uh, then it'd pass. Then it didn't. It's who I am. I know. I get that. But you still might. What, are you gonna? You're gonna grow out of it? No, Ellen? it's not about growing out of it. I didn't say that. I'm just. It's all still very new to me. Sometimes it doesn't even seem like it is me, like I'm someone else when I'm with you. So do I. I feel like someone different when I'm with you. Does that scare you? No. You're aware that I have the power to yank your security clearance and bounce you out of the program. I'm aware that the only reason I'm here is because you think my boyfriend is gay. Which I find both outrageous and offensive. Larry is a red-blooded American man with completely normal desires. And I won't sit here while you cast aspersions on his character. We're not actually here to talk about your boyfriend, Miss Waverly. We're here to talk about you. Me. I can't figure out your story. It's not that complicated. Your mother's New York old money. Your father becomes a pilot in the 20s. You know Amelia Earhart, is that true? And Charles Lindbergh. 
He starts his own air freight company in the 30s. After the war, he's a self-made millionaire. Starts Cavalier Airlines in 48. He gives you the flying bug. You get a pilot license as a teenager, MIT, aeronautical engineering. Dad hires you at Cavalier, and you work there until NASA starts looking for female astronauts. Doesn't make an ounce of sense. You can't understand why a woman wants to be an astronaut? I can't understand why Ellen Waverly, heiress, aeronautical engineer, pilot, and now astronaut, is with Larry Wilson. He's a good man. He's a homosexual. You're wrong. I doubt it. Why? Have you slept with him? No. Have you? I don't think that is any of your business. Tell me about your first kiss. It was at the movies. What movie? Ryan's daughter. What part? When Rosie and Major Dorian make love in the meadow. Odd time to take your eyes off the screen. We were caught up in the moment. I just don't know why you're doing this. I'm not doing anything except trying to keep you from smearing the name of a perfectly good man. You're helping him hide his secret at great personal risk to yourself, your reputation, and your career. Why? Can't figure it. But I will. You better watch out. You better not cry. It's all in the city. He didn't buy it. It was worth a shot. Sometimes the aggressive tack throws him off. How much longer is this crap gonna go on? No way to know yet. But we shouldn't trust the phone. Don't they need a warrant to tap our phones? Uh, Jagger Hoover may be dead, but the feds are still lawless pricks when it comes to protecting Americans against sexual perverts, so don't trust the phones. Jesus. Washington, accusations of an extramarital affair between President Ted Kennedy and a White House staffer named Mary Jo Kopechny continue to roil the White House today. This follows last week's publication of photographs, which appear to show the President and Miss Kopechny in Palm Beach, Florida last winter. Maybe the FBI should be looking into his sex life.